first annual Green Gala. For David Wayne's John Harrison Magnet Women's House Award Project, he had sought to create the Green Gala, an annual recap showcasing what Baylor and Planet Number Two has done for sustainability. And to start off tonight, I'm happy to introduce our first speaker, Mike Mellon. Baylor Leeds is not just a hallmark or smart branding, but rather it's a statement and a reminder of your responsibility to take care of planet one and of each other. To all the past and present Baylor faculty and staff who enabled me to stand here and to share this important message with you tonight, I say thank you. And David, it's my privilege to turn the microphone over to you, but not without first saying congratulations one more time. My journey with sustainability started a night four years ago, when me and my parents watched Albert Ward's documentary, An Inconvenient Truth. That was the first time when I, the alarming message of a global climate crisis really popped up into my mind. It is something grand enough that could almost bypass politics, international relationships, and personal trifles. But it is also something small enough that is tightly embedded into our daily life. So, in the summer of 2022, a bunch of naive high schoolers carrying big dreams started an organization. Planet number two. Our mission is simple. We're intending on raise the awareness of the impending climate crisis. And this will be done through a discussion to a diverse group of members across the world. We intend on attract teenagers around the world who bear the same idea and dream as we do, and create a truly global outreach to have connections everywhere, because that's what climate crisis will look like. It's not about just you and me, but it affects all of us every single one on this planet. What I learned the most from this journey is that although the situation is not ideal, we, as the citizens of the world, still have that faith in our heart. The faith which researchers provide us by working countless hours in the lab. The faith that educators provide us by teaching the younger generation about climate crisis and care about climate change. And the faith I can see in your eyes that you come to this event believing that younger generation can win this battle against climate change. It is that faith that keeps me and everybody in this organization going. This first Green Gala will start off what we think an annual summary of sustainability, not only here at Baylor School, but in the future, across the world, where Planet Number Two Foundation can reach. Every year, we will meet and recap what we have done, what we are going to do, and to raise the foundation to a new level to achieve future targets. We are dreaming big, because only if you plan big, can you achieve bigger goals? I want to thank you all for coming tonight and hope you guys enjoy the event. Next, I'd like to welcome the birding expert, Luke Thompson, to present our project overview. Just today, in a joint effort with Sustainability Club, Planet Number Two began a new project. All around the school, there are innumerable trash cans and recycling bins. Each is labeled loosely, yet frequently students place the wrong items into the recycling. Each month, we will go into a new building and replace the old system with a new one, labeling trash and recycling bins with creative, colorful, student-made signs like this. And we aren't the only ones on campus making a difference. As mentioned with the trash and recycling bin project, we frequently partner with Baylor Sustainability Club, who often take a hands-on approach to various issues across campus and Chattanooga. With that, I'll leave it to possibly the best person to speak on that matter one of the most intelligent and hardworking people I know, and my good friend and the president of Baylor, Baylor Sustainability Club, Claire McComb. Everyone's heard those buzzwords. Fight climate change, go green, reduce, reuse, recycle. But all of those are meaningless unless we really can back those up with actions and understanding. Previously, we've done events like making informational posters on single-use plastics, brought in speakers on endangered species, and on solar energy. We've done clothing swaps and Baylor Lake cleanups. 
If we all assume someone else will solve our problems, then they're never going to get solved. But that's why organizations like Planet Number 2, Baylor Research, and Sustainability Club are important. They provide a platform for young people to have commentary in today's world, investigate the problems they're interested in, and do something about it. Thanks. Mr. Holt is the environmental research teacher and faculty sponsor of Planet Number 2 in Sustainability Club. Let's see what he has to share with us today. My first year here, I had the fortune of coaching David on the soccer team. Um, and David immediately had this overwhelming, contagious enthusiasm for life. And it was so contagious. He was just 100 miles an hour in every direction, just buzzing around, always had a smile on his face. And I remember thinking, like, boy, that's a lot of energy. Hope he builds up the time he's a senior. <laughs> but he's the equivalent of the Energizer Bunny with a lithium battery. Which, by the way, lithium mining is not great for the environment, but that's a conversation for another day. Shortly thereafter, right, it was probably the June of 2022, when I was out on a two-mile run in the 105-degree heat of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And so naturally, I took a break halfway through, and I checked my phone, and I had an email from David Wang. David Wang, simply put, said, I want to start a movement that raises climate awareness all over the world. And actually, the truth be told, I'm incredibly optimistic about the future of our world. I'm optimistic because there is a hunger and a demand for sustainability. Traditionally, conversations about conservation and renewable energy, that was kind of restricted to the tree huggers and the hippies, my kind of people. But now, you know, we're having these conversations on global stages. We're having these conversations on the floor of the Senate. We're having these conversations in college classrooms. We're having them in family homes, and we're having them all over Baylor every single day. And this is reason to be incredibly optimistic about the future of our planet. It seems like there's a paradigm shift going on in our world. I think a lot of this is because of what's going on with the youth right now. Y'all are doing an amazing job. You're passionate, you're enthusiastic, and you believe that you're bold enough to change the world. Y'all are crazy, but, but that's exactly how the world gets changed. It's people that are a little crazy. Yes, it's an uphill battle, but I'm optimistic. And the reason I'm optimistic was because one day last year, an exhausted, stressed junior walked into my classroom. His name was David Wang, and he said, Coach Holt, I didn't want to get out of bed this morning. I'm tired, my body hurts, and I have way too many assignments to get done. But then I walked outside and I saw the Tennessee River. I heard the birds singing, and I smelled the fresh fall air, and I thought to myself, how can I have a bad day when there's this much joy and beauty around me? And I think John Harrison would agree. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, Mr. Holt. As our gala approaches its conclusion, I am here to thank you again for coming out tonight and supporting us and promoting the idea of sustainability. Remember, it takes us to act today in order to save tomorrow. I'd like to announce the ending of our first annual Planet Number 2 Green Gala. Thank you to Mr. Wilson for making this event possible, and thank you to all the speakers.